Hello and welcome to Nathan's Garage. I'm Nathan Kershaw and a slightly different video for us today. It's a how-to. Why you may ask yourself, why is he doing a how-to? Because I tried to find out how to on the tinterwebs and couldn't find it. So I'm going to have to do it and learn my way as we go. If you'd like to help out the channel, just head down to the description and you'll see the links to everything you need. Nathansgarage.com, which has all the merch, PayPal pool tip jar, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Cool t-shirts like this and with all the crazy stuff going on in the world right now, what's better than to keep calm and chop on. The greatest Christmas presents ever created and curated by none other than Wife Tastic. And now to the how-to. What are we doing? Merca XR40i slash Ford Sierra slash Ford Sierra Cosworth. I wonder if the Escort Cosworth is the same as well. CV boots constant velocity because they never stop moving. I was about to put the entire back end back in the XR and then I looked at the CV boots and yes, I know they're like 33 years old or something like that, but I thought I'll stick them back in anyway. And there was a huge split in one of them. So we're gonna change them all out while it is out, but I don't know how to split the constant velocity joints off the shafts. That's the big question, and that is what we're going to be learning today. Okay, my little chums, it seems I've answered my question straight away. Big old circlip right there. Hmm, if only I didn't only have Harbour Freight circlip. Garbage thingies. Hmm, I wonder how well this is going to go. Okay, let the pandemonium ensue. Let's see how inefficiently these work. Huh. That was actually pretty easy. Hmm. Is this, um, is this video going to be a bit anticlimactic? <laughs> now the ones I have bought are actually attached to this jobby here which is that jobby there. So I'm hoping to tap this back off because now the actual CV bolts aren't in, that's what would hold this boot on. These are by, uh, I got these from Jeff Hurston at Merca Parts Midwest, by the way. Pop off, she has, Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming now, now the circlip's off, and that side of the CV boot is off. That's the CV joint itself. And I assume, I hope it's gonna pull off. Maybe we'll give it a little bit of, a little bit of love. Ooh, it's coming off. I expect something else to go wrong. This is, this is, this is way too, this is going way too well. Okay, so I am not rebuilding these. I'm just getting a quick wipe out, more grease, job done. I tried to rebuild those last time and they were never the same and they clicked. Volvo Yoda has the proper tool for these, I don't. So I'm gonna keep hold of this and I'm gonna zip tie it and probably drive up to his house and see what his wisdom tells me to do. Okay, so there you can see we have a circlip on the inner end as well, holding the joint coming this way. So now, boot on, I think. I think, I think, I think. Jesus. Come wait till they smack yourself in the face. There we go. That's on, right. So, always remember, I don't know I'm, I, I don't know whether these go both ways, but the boot went on that side last time. So that is exactly, so I'm putting the, the CV joint 
back on the same end. Uh, don't look up, don't look up. No, no, don't look up. Here we go. I bet all you mechanic types out there are like, oh, you don't need to do that. You can do that so much quicker and I'm quite sure I can. But I ain't never done this before. Chop a car in half and weld it back together. All good. Mechanicular stuff? No idea. Tis clean. Okay, so the guy at the AutoZone store, so I read up on the internet and it said, um, it's a special CV joint type grease. And when I saw other people doing it on not Ford Sierras, it was sticky. Now he told me this Molly stuff would be okay. That's all I had and I had to do this today. So, but I don't think this is sticky. So I wonder what the anti-fling characteristics are of this stuff. I fear not as good as the proper stuff. It's all gonna tighten on, but that will keep it in place. <laughs> It's not even one shaft done, just one joint. So obviously I'm gonna dump a load of grease in there before I put it back into the axle assembly. Before and after, all done. As I say, inside is gonna have a zip turn until I get up to Volvo Yoda, see if we can reuse those clips that are over there. Well, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe as I get terrible algorithmia if you don't. And I shall see you next time. Bye.